time, man. Another session of In Touch, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, we go worldwide bringing you epic content, epic information with people who are movers and shakers of our time. And I'm grateful hanging with me today, um, live on THD24.com. I have none other, the world renowned, most sought after speaker, friend, brother. You can, you know, he's given master classes worldwide. And he, he did a good job with, on his visit to. Rama Church in Randburg at the Winning Edge Conference, and Jim yes. is my guest today. Jim, quick, welcome to THD. How are you doing? I'm great, Touch. I'm, I'm glad, uh, Sasha. And this event was amazing, and so such a uh, such a beautiful city. Yeah, such amazing people. And right, just amazing. So glad to be here. Was this your first trip to South Africa? It was. Flew uh, direct from New York City, mm -hmm. uh, where we live, about 15 hour flight. But um, you know, it, we had such a great event uh the winning edge great. and then you your participation thank you, thank you for, for that people love that and oh man yeah people were, were raving it was high 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 impact i want to thank you for helping me to make my bed first thing in the morning when i wake up that's what i'm most <laughs> known for <laughs> that's what you're known for and i you know i look at a lot of your videos on youtube uh more like a tutorial base yes but i know there's an extension of it where you actually offer uh, a package mm -hmm. uh, because i don't think you dish everything on youtube tell me about uh jim quick's yeah. tutorial how do you break it down if i mm. subscribe to your school of thinking what am i walking away with yeah right on so um i'm a brain coach mm -hmm. and i uh we have programs online in over 180 countries we teach people how to learn faster right to read faster to improve their memory right. to enhance their focus we uh, also have a podcast uh, where we teach people brain hacks for busy people who want to learn faster and achieve more okay and the best way for people to find out about those programs is uh my last name is Quick, so K-W-I-K really is my last name, sure. my stage name. It's right. uh, quickbrain.com, and they can get three videos on how to improve their memory, how to start their day, and the best brain foods to, to turn you into a uh, um, superpower. Let's talk about brain power. Yeah, it's right. one of the things that I struggle with myself, power of the mind. Mm. And you simplify the way you break it down. A grade one student can apply it, but it's not easy in the real world. What makes you think that you can help people yeah. to strengthen their mind and yeah. their pattern of thinking? I past 28 years been doing this full time, okay. helping people of all ages, ages, backgrounds, career, education levels, financial situation, mm. gender, history, IQ. My when I do memory training, people see me on stage, memorize 50 or 100 people's names in an audience or uh, 50, 100 words or numbers, forwards and backwards. But I always tell people, I don't do this to impress you. I do this to express to you what's really possible. Okay. Because the truth is, all of us could do that and a lot more. We are actually natural geniuses, but school doesn't teach us. It teaches us what to learn. Math, history, science, Spanish. But what else should we learn? But they don't teach us how to learn. And so how to focus, how to solve problems, how to be a successful uh you know, parent or entrepreneur, right? How to be able to be creative, how to be able to read faster, how to remember things that would have been useful in school, yeah. reading, writing, arithmetic, but recall is, is very important as well. So school teaches you what to learn, what to think, what to remember, but not how to learn how to think mm. and how to remember. And I feel like that that was a big educational gap for the world we live in today, a world full of digital overload, too much information, too little time. In a world with digital dementia, people feel like they're so forgetful. The uh, world of digital distraction, right. where we can't focus, and so that's where where our strategies. Can a mind going through some, you know, uh, adverse like mm -hmm. if you're going through some adversaries, you're going through some yeah. turbulences. Yeah. Can can a mind that is going through some tough times be able to recalibrate and find strength from within to deal with the same problem, but approach it differently because mm -hmm. a lot of us are products of our circumstances we don't mm -hmm. have the strength to uh, rise above whatever that life throws at us and we drown in misery okay yeah, yeah. and you find people the reason why they need to be encouraged is because they're drowning in being in depression and they're dealing yeah. with too much uh, uh, toxic or, or bad energy around them and how, do, how does one say I am going to rise above all mm -hmm. of this that I'm dealing with if I'm going through divorce if I'm going through depression I'm going through something financial that financial crisis financial yeah. crisis I'm in a recession how do I Health keep issues. my mind protected from yeah. being a victim of its own thoughts yeah 
I would say that self-care and self-love is not selfish, that mm. a lot of people are struggling and my heart goes out to you and my, my prayers, my thoughts, that you have to say no more. A lot of people, when they say yes to a person yes. or yes to a thing, they say no to themselves. And it's very Ooh. important to create boundaries and borders on your time, on your mental health, on your emotional uh, fortitude, you know, and your joy. I'm not saying you can't help people around you, but a lot of people who are suffering are, are martyrs because they're helping everybody but their self, okay. themselves. And I think we need to fall in love with that person in the mirror who's been through so much, mm. but is still standing. You know, I think difficult times, they could diminish us, they could define us, or they could develop us. We, we ultimately decide. And people hear about post, you know, traumatic stress. Correct. You know, this trauma people go through. What people don't hear about a lot is, uh, but it's out there, is post-traumatic growth. That going post traumatic through growth. growth. This is man, I've never heard that yeah, before. And this is something hundreds of thousands of people have gone through trauma that you wouldn't wish upon anyone, but they wouldn't trade that experience for anything because, and I'm sure some of your listeners can relate to this. Yeah. You go through difficult times, and those challenges led to big changes for you. You found a, a strength, you found a mission, you found a life's purpose, you found clarity in something, you, you found a new identity in terms of what right. you're capable of. Right. And, uh, and I feel like that um, we don't hear about this a lot, but these success stories that you could come out through, you know, these challenges and come out positive in a, in a lot of ways. You go around and you talk to people in seminars, conference, one on one. Do you really see a difference after people have subscribed to your train of thinking and do you feel that it, 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 it's important for you to engage people from all walks of life yeah. and and without knowing what they're going through you could probably subscribe a universal solution to their problems i feel like that we're all different and our diversity our unique story is our superpower and that's our that's our path, nobody has on the same path, and not everybody has the same advantages, external resources, not everybody has the same level of education or the same level of uh, network, not the same level of financial means, but I, we do all have the same amount of time. Mm. We all have 86,400 seconds in a day, Ooh. and so you have as much time as Oprah does or Elon Musk does. And it's how we invest that time that pays the, the best dividends. So what I always tell people is you can't manage your time as much as you could manage your priorities. And so it's priority management. And this is the key. Put first things first. For everybody's right. listening to this, right. the most important thing is to keep the most important thing the most important thing. The most important thing is to keep the most important thing the most important thing in your life. And you want to major in the major things in life. But so many people get really good at things that don't matter. And what I would say is to, to create routines in your day. Mm -hmm. And so everybody, regardless of their age and their background, and we travel, travel all around the world doing this, um, everyone can make a difference. Because it's not about your external resources, it's right. about your internal resourcefulness. You know, we, we all know people how, that are- How do I tap into my internal resources? How do I do an inventory of yeah. my internal resources? I live in a world where I'm defined by the color of my skin, mm -hmm. or I'm told I am an A student because of a grading system that exists in schools. So I probably have established a, you know, a certain identity about who I am. Yeah. Now you come and tell me about internal strength. Yeah. How do I identify that? Where do I go to tap into my internal strength? Well, you know, I, I think we all have that resource, that well of, of genius inside of us is not just our brain power, you know, where they say we use a small percentage of that potential, but also our heart power. When when you look at, at interviews of great men and women in mm. history, like a Nelson Mandela, mm. you know, you might not have access to these resources, but you know, you look at interviews from him when he came, you know, out of prison and you feel and he he was really, you know, he's a remarkable leader because right. He was able to forgive and be able to step up. And because I believe the life you live are the lessons you teach the people around you. Everyone's watching. But so many people are just talking about things. And we gotta stop we gotta stop saying things and we really gotta start showing things. You know, we we gotta stop you know promising and we gotta start really proving to people. Speaking of promise, you said you're coming back to SA. Yes. I wanna talk about that too. When yeah. is that gonna happen? Because you know, you don't just come here and throw like a 
like like a one meal and don't expect us to come back for desserts. I know there's got to be a day. There's got to be some kind of a, uh, I'm going to speak to Sashin to find out the Winning Edge Part 2. What's going yeah. on with that? I believe the, the Winning Edge Part 2 is happening uh, December 14th. Okay. And uh, that's what rumors I, I've heard. And it's going to, I mean, you know, the first one was, was amazing and the second one's just going to get better and better. True. You know, the commitment for this this leadership, the, the people, it's, it's a cooperative and it's not even, you know, even afterwards, people felt like they were part of something really great and i think that this this country this continent it needs access to new information True. you know the education system globally is just not what it should be to prepare us for the world that we live in we live in today and i would say to anyone who's struggling right now to obviously uh, to be able to show up for that to be able to show up there are resources out there research you know resources like your show Resources like great books, resources like uh, the, you know, the, spend the day with us at, at Winning Edge, mm-hmm. part two. Uh, resources like uh, podcast and YouTube videos. Speaking and so, of podcast, this is, this is by the way, ladies and gentlemen, in touch with, sorry to cut you there. I, I'm seeing some of the comments that are coming through. GX underscore universe says, touch, this man changed my life. Yeah. When somebody says that, what goes in your head? Like, what, what what's the first thought that, do you do what you do to change people's life? Yeah, it's so touch. It's really touching for, for me to hear those things because I grew up, it's very humbling because I grew up with learning challenges and learning difficulties. My parents, they immigrated to the, the to the United States. They had, my father left because he didn't, they, they couldn't afford, they were in poverty, couldn't afford to feed him. So we moved to the States. Uh, we lived um, in the, we didn't speak the language, lived in the back of a laundromat. Um, that uh, my, my mother worked in and it was very hard my and so goodness. you know people we all go through things but I think your struggles could lead to strengths mm. and it's very humbling because Hallelujah. I I had a traumatic brain injury when I was five I had learning difficulties I was labeled you know learning challenged I couldn't read I couldn't write I couldn't understand things and I was put in you know those special classes so my 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 you couldn't what yeah because of my brain injury it was it was so bad Jim Quick couldn't do all of those well that's the thing why reason I'm so ex- passionate about this is whoever's watching this right right now I believe that your life is like an egg that if an egg is broken by an outside force life ends but if it's broken by an inside force life begins great things begin on the inside and everybody who's listening to this Ooh! you have <laughs> you have greatness inside of you wow. you have you have genius inside of you regardless of your yes! labels um, or you know your background the stories you know and, and it's true i mean it's true that we all have our own unique challenges okay but if anyone who su- has succeeded independent uh, you know who is the same age or is the same you know ethnicity or anything that it kind of takes away the excuses in our life and we could either you know get bitter or we could get better i, I can keep going and I want people, before we wrap this up, ladies and gentlemen, you've seen Jim Quick on YouTube. You saw him at the Winning Edge. I want people to now get directly in subscribing to your material. Yeah. Step one, how do I do it? I would, um, so the best place is our podcast. We have a 15 minute podcast that teaches speed reading, memory, how to learn languages, the best brain nutrients. People could just go to quickbrain.com. It's yeah. K-W-I-K brain.com. Okay. And it's absolutely free. Um, the best, pl- after that, social media. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a follower of your work on, on, on all the social channels like Instagram. Oh, thank you for hitting me up. I saw, I saw you hitting me up yeah. on Instagram. Yeah. No, no, it's, it's wonderful. Social media now, we can learn from each other. And that's the best thing about this, you know, because... It's not like if I give you a dollar, you give me a dollar. You, we, we trade, you know, monetary stuff. It's the same. But if I give you a brand new idea hmm. and you share a brand new idea with me, all of a sudden we have two brand new ideas. Wow. You know, or, or you know, one of our great mutual friends, Ken Rakowski, is an incredible connector. I've never met anyone better than, than him. If he shares a new individual with you in right. your life and then you share a new individual, Ken you know, we is have a machine. Three of two brand new connections that sure. weren't there and there's new value that's created. And that's what we need to do. We need to be able to support each other. But I would challenge everyone right now, actually, to take a screenshot of this episode or this video or this audio and tag us both in it. That's right. And share your big aha. I'm at Jim Quick, K-W-I-K. And I would would, I'll repost some of my favorites. Speaking of that aha moment, as you spoke, it just hit me that we need to be in a position where we advise even with governments we advise with policy making 
because I feel that people who are putting leadership based on our votes, uh, based on our support, mm -hmm. they need to now start deploying our expertise, just how we live and how we champion this journey of life. And, and, and people like yourself, if you were to be asked to you know, uh, serve in the administration, not as an official, but as an, on an advisory level, yeah. because stuff that you shared on this podcast can do a lot for leaders, can do a lot for ordinary people, can do a lot for anybody in any facet of man management. But would you take that responsibility to advise those who are in state power, those who are policy makers that shape society? Yeah, I, I would be honored to be able to serve. I, I think we have, as global citizens, it's our civic responsibility mm. that um, you know, in the superhero world, there's this phrase that says, with great power comes great responsibility, mm -hmm. meaning the people in power have great responsibility to steward it and provide uh, resources and um, for, for its citizens. And I also believe the opposite is also true, that going from the bottom up, working directly with citizens, helping, uh, you know, a country, not all the time can we, you know, make change at a, our health care, but we could we the at a country level, right? But maybe we could take care of our family's health care. You know, the economics of the world, the economy. But maybe we could focus also taking care of responsibility for our own personal economics. And so I believe the individual has a responsibility because not only is it with great power comes great responsibility, right? But with great responsibility comes great power. When we take responsibility for where we are and we don't we don't play the victim, we have great power to be able to make things better. But I would be honored to be able to to serve because my, my passion is no, because I had the broken brain, yeah. is to leave no brain left behind. That That's really mm. my mission is that I believe that everyone listening here has genius inside of us. You're gifted with the greatest superpower on the planet found between your ears. It, your brain just doesn't come with an owner's manual. Mm. And if you're struggling, if you're overloaded, you're distract, distracted, you know, your brain controls everything in your life. It controls your career, it controls your health, it controls your relationships, it, re it controls anything that you're involved in, in service or politics or contributions. And uh, and if you can make it better, if you can access a little bit more of it, and who knows if somebody's listening to this right now, yes. and and they, they're struggling, but they come up with, you know, a cure for, for their personal woes or even a cure for cancer. I mean, who True. knows, you know, True. that's a limitless resource we have is is the is the human mind i want to thank you for imparting such wisdom so um you're leaving us with the responsibility to go out and make things happen and not look externally for things to happen and i look forward next time when we meet the people that are listening right now that can tag you and give you testimonials of mm. what this conversation did to their lives yeah. if, if someone's going going through right now some difficulty i would just remind them right now that um, my message to everybody who's listening is that you are stronger and you are smarter than you think. That if you look at a bird up in the tree, it, it stays up in that tree. Even if, you know, me as a human, we'd be scared of heights. It's not because it puts its, tr its trust in the tree branch. It's because it puts its trust in its own wings. And I mm. want to remind you that you know, when you take the leap that if failure is not an option, then neither is success. When mm. you when you jump, you will you will find a way. And, you know, life, the comfort zone is is nice, but not much grows there that that while the beauty is in the butterfly, the growth happens in the cocoon. And some of your listeners right now are in the cocoon struggling, you know, to get out of it. But yes, that's sir. where the caterpillar creates the strength in yes. its wings yes. to be able to come out and emerge like a butterfly and fly and soar to new heights. And that that's really my wish for you. If if you feel like you're not enough, here's the thing. The truth is you're you you are enough, you know, and you've always been enough. Regard regardless of what you do, of what you've done, or or or, or the things you've accomplished. Okay. You always have and you always were. Wow. And I think that everybody has to remember to uh, prioritize self-care, self-growth, and self-love, and then be able to take your life to the next level. But I want—I really appreciate the work that you do. I'm a—I'm a big fan, and so looking forward to to coming oh. back to uh, Jim South Africa. Quick. Whoever thought live, ladies and gentlemen, we in the building. Oh man, this is thd24.com. Don't get it twisted. All right, Jim. Thank you for hanging out with us. 
welcome to South Africa again. And I look forward to December 14th. Yes. Thank you, Touch. Thank you.